Hi, this is a Model C that we built here at our shop in Battleground, Wolf Industries, Inc. I'd like to share it with you. It's kind of a fun program. It's our number one seller. Uh, 10 foot by 40 feet. It's a perfect unit for a mother-in-law. It's perfect for a single person looking for a place to live. Starting off on the outside, I want to just give you some details. Uh, High-end vinyl windows surrounded by hardy plank trim. This is great because in the Northwest, everything gets hammered with rain. This is going to be, uh, this is going to totally withstand that for, for years and years. Uh, hardy plank siding, we've got hose bibs as options, we've got metal roofs up here. Uh, you paint it all indoors, it never sees the light of day until it's done and ready to come off the, the, the factory line. So on our B models and C models, this cedar shake right here is one of our standard signature things that we take pride in. Northwest look, Northwest feel, these cedar shakes will last for years. Screen door, this is something that a customer reached out to us. We've never offered it before, but we said, yeah, let's look into it. What can we do? We went and searched for options, gave the customer a couple options on what, for, what they wanted to do for screen doors, and they selected this one. It looked, uh, looks like it turned out great. Uh, this is one of our standard doors that we use here at Wolf Industries. It's fiberglass. What does that mean to you? It withstands weather beautifully. It's not going to expand or shrink, contract. Uh, it's very stable. It takes paint super awesome, especially when it's in our controlled environment shop. Uh, it's a nice detail on the window. Uh, this right here is one of our lever options for doorknobs. This is part of our package for technology package, putting in these electronic deadbolts. Pretty cool. You just dee 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 and allows us to go on in. Uh, one of the signature parts is the ceiling. Really difficult to get it on video, but with this double vault, it really opens up and feels awesome. It's our number one seller. The pine ceiling is part of our standard features that we have here. We wanted something that felt airy, it felt light, it felt a little bit rustic, and I think we achieved just that with putting in this pine. Ceiling fan, standard program, that's what we do. Let's take a peek at the kitchen we've put together here. Uh, stainless steel refrigerator. We don't buy the cheapest garbage. We put in what we think we would want in our homes. This is a stainless steel gas stove. Uh, Nice tabletop on the, the, the top there. I mean, you can look them up and, and check out more details there. Solid surface countertop. This is standard in every one of our homes. Uh, this <coughs> option for an undermount sink, kind of a classy square sink. One of our standard sink faucets that we put here. A backsplash uh, works well for keeping water from going into the back. Hickory cabinets, solid wood. Maybe not on the interior, but hey, we got solid wood on the, on the cabinets. This was an option that one of our clients came to us and said, hey, will you install a TV mount? And we said, you bring it to us and we'll figure out how to put it up there. So typical package option is a HDMI option. In this case, they swapped it out for an RJ45 jack and a cable. So this connects down to the crawl space through a conduit behind the wall that we can't see, so everything's hidden and nice. And uh, they have access to hook up their TV with keeping everything clean and nice. So people ask me all the time, what's the difference between one of our homes and everything else they see on TV, uh, at, at, along this, the freeways, everywhere else? And I'll tell you, the difference is this. This insignia right here, which is given by the state of Washington, tells us what the jurisdiction is looking for when it comes to roof snow loads, wind snow loads, uh, manufacturer's uh, number. This tells everything as to why this home is built to housing code and not just RV code or anything else that uh, some, some Johnny homeowner in a pickup truck decided to build. So. This tells the jurisdiction that this is a home. It's been inspected, designed, and approved as such. So this is what separates the men from the boys. We build homes, and uh, yeah, this is, a, this, this, is, this is a critical piece to how we put our homes together. For those that don't know, I'm six foot five, and this space feels huge. 
Got plenty of space up there, storage shelves. It's very difficult to get on a camera. It's almost one of those things you have to see in person. Um, full size bed, queen, king, you name it, we can fit it. This particular house, they wanted to slide this forward so they can get a little more space in here. So typical closet for us is four feet wide. We took a foot off and this one's three feet wide. This one has a nice little shelf and a closet rod and access to the crawl space down below. So for those that don't know, they sit on foundations and you need a place to get down to the crawl space. So this is a really cool feature of this home. We're out in the yard right now, so it's not powered up, but this is a Google Home Suite package where the, the, the options are virtually limitless and watching the guys use it in the shop is pretty cool. You can say, hey Google, raise the temperature of the thermostat to 74 degrees. Okay, we'll do that. And before you know it, the heat pump over here is just kicked on and cranking out heat. This is one of the cameras that's part of the smart home package. Typically it's mounted outside for those deliveries and for neighbors and just keeping tabs of on the outside of your house. This particular customer, they have an aging parent, they wanted to keep it inside. So in case a mother fell, something happened, they could log into their phone, <clears throat> excuse me, and you'd be able to see, boom, right there, what, 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 uh, what's happening. This is a Daikin heat pump, mini split. It works super well for our homes. Uh, it's, it runs off electricity, 220, uh, 13 amps, I believe. Very efficient, uh, uses an outdoor heat exchange mounts on, mounted on the side of the house, and it, it uh, compresses Freon, runs it through here, and then uh, it uses the fan coil to blow it over the, the condenser and that's how you get cold air or hot air. This works both ways, AC and heat. We're in the bathroom of one of our signature bathroom styles. Both Model B and C has this style bathroom. It's 10 feet wide by five feet wide this way. This is a full size shower. You got uh, optional shower door here that was installed in this house. This house is actually pretty stinking cool. You've got a seat inside here. You've got a shower head. Everything that you'd need for a regular shower. Oops, I didn't get wet. This is an excellent Panasonic uh, bathroom fan. You've got three settings, 50, 70, or 120 CFM. So depending on what you need for exhaust, you've got it. This is a customer supplied vanity. They brought in and said, hey, can we get this thing installed? We said, sure. We mounted it in here for them and uh, it'll be a good place to store your stuff you can store in a bathroom. This is our standard toilet. Uh, it's a flushing toilet. It goes to the city sewer or a septic system, private septic system. Uh, we offer a couple versions, one standard height, and then there's an ADA height where you lift it up for those that need a little bit higher height. So that works out good. You got your toilet paper holder, standard bathroom toilet. This is one of our standard vanity setups, one piece. Uh, works well, um, small, compact, you got some space to store a couple things around here. I like that feature when it's able to use the top and the sink all in one piece. Uh, if we'd bought a separate sink, it'd end up filling up the whole thing. So it's a nice little small sink. You can get everything you need done here. Uh, works well. There is an option to get a bigger vanity, uh, but you got pros and cons both ways. This is one of the uh, washers and dryers we offer for our tiny homes. Uh, it's a stack, it's a gas dryer, electric washer. We don't like to use those all-in-one little units because it takes so long for them to dry. So we plumb over a gas line and uh, run gas to this dryer. So just what you'd expect, a conventional dryer, the only difference is it runs off of gas versus uh, electricity. Fun fact for those that want to conceal this, we offer a barn door option where this door right here actually slides over and hides it. So that's an option that people have chosen as well. So these are our cordless blinds that work really, really cool. You just pull them down, 
you got this dial to adjust how they work and it's one of our options we put throughout our homes model b c or e whatever we like to offer uh, things that our clients need and a little extra privacy is always a good thing you see the joint there exactly neither can i that's the point my guys do some incredible quality on fit and finish for their trim work this is high quality millwork you would only find in the high-end homes this is what our guys do day in and day out because they're proud of what they do this may seem like a simple deal but this is a solution putting this dryer vent through the wall preventing many issues that we've had in the past with dryer vents getting disconnected dislodged down in the crawl space causing issues with mold mildew moisture going into the crawl space that's all prevented by putting this vent directly out the sidewall so this is a huge feature that maybe is overlooked by some but uh solution seeking here at wolf industries we we had the issue we solved it this is the ticket this right here is a daikin outdoor unit that's connected with that indoor unit we were just looking at uh, this is the, the the air conditioning mini split system very efficient like mentioned runs off 220 13 amps it's only sipping electricity um, completely installed tested and approved here at the shop so there's no on-site work in terms of setting up the system vacuuming down testing it so forth so this is the strap that we use right here to connect it to the foundation ours go on foundations this is the seismic strap that prevents overturning offers the shear so very important piece to the foundation uh, this folds down after you get on site and uh, connected this model c as with all of our other houses has a water hose connection this is left raw for whatever connection uh, coupler they'll need to install out there in the field when they put it on a foundation this is our tankless water heater runs off a natural gas or propane depending on how we order it Renai quality brand served us very well uh, we've got everything all pre-dialed in this is your fresh water coming in your hot water going out you've got the, uh, the the little temporary heat strips for those couple days a year that it's really really cold you've got a ground connection right here for your electrical system they don't want that luck the, the gas catching on fire we did a test runs off of one of those small rv gas tanks or the propane tanks about 30 pounds it'll last two and a half months between this the water heater the dryer and uh, your stove so barely uses the propane you'll be set for months to go if you get one of those taller tanks <laughs>